So today's video is a bit of a wrap up. Um, we're gonna finish up on a reminiscence. We're gonna look back at kind of where this started and where it's at now and looking forward to the future. Um, it's time to get balls deep in some op shops. <laughs> Yeah, this one's gonna be fun. A big warning here on this one. Back in the day, I used to swear a lot. So there's going to be a lot of naughty words. I don't swear that much anymore, I've noticed. I've become mature over the last few years. Oh, mostly because I know that there's a lot of children that watch. And I didn't realize until looking back on these how loose my tongue actually was. <laughs> Um, so be prepared, some of the older videos have a lot of swearing, so if you don't like swearing or as kids in the room, fuck off. Why in the hell am I doing a video like this? Uh, well I've thought about chucking it in to be honest, and I'm going to explain why, I'm going to show where my business is at, what's going on in my life. Um, if you've been hanging around for a while, it's probably worth checking out. You might get a laugh, but you might also see some serious stuff towards the end. So. Uh, Let's have some fun. I'm gonna do my first ride along video today. Um, I decided to jump on the YouTube bandwagon. The R Center 2019, I was sort of, I'd been selling for a while and I found this little community going on through YouTube and Instagram and stuff and I thought it was absolutely fantastic and I thought, how do I get into part of that? Seven trucks and we flipped them quick. I am very impressed with that. Fuck, it's not good. <coughs> I think people thought I was a community drunk because I did beer reviews every week for something different, which was completely irrelevant to reselling, but I won an award too. It's likely to flip trash while trashed. And it goes to... Diary of a Flipper, congratulations. Not actually awarded for alcohol abuse, but rather because I cannot get through one of your thrift haul and beer review videos without laughing out loud multiple times. I want this. I've seen friendships in there, I've seen people helping each other. I've seen it just a really respectable thing. And the only way I can kind of do that is put myself out there a little bit. Start playing the game and then fuck the book off because it's absolute shit. Um, it's not going to do anything. No one's going to buy it. It's a waste of time. This is what I think of this whole book. We'll end up just going back on eBay and probably selling for it. Brought this down for the trip. So this is going in the cave. So you're hugging your baby. You're pretty happy. <laughs> don't <laughs> don't oh smash God. it. Oh, nothing in there. That joint just give me the fuck. Jeebies. Just so many people just touching you and fucking coughing and shit. Coronavirus. Fuck that. I'm, I'm not liking this actually. Then we had COVID, that was a weird one. This is how we hit up op shops in Victoria now. Let's get into it. We got a lot of shit there, which was good, but. I'm just happy to get out of life. <laughs> <laughs> because creating content as somebody that goes out and finds stuff to sell, um, to get locked up at home, it came down to a little bit of creativity trying to build a channel. So I went pretty hard live streaming there through COVID and they were great. Just sitting right on his ass as he does for everyone. Okay, <laughs> 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 oh. I may have a bit of plastic wedged into my back. See now she ain't coming fucking thrifting with us when we go thrifting in Melbourne. <laughs> she'll, come, she'll come drinking with us. They were a massive outlet for social, so while well, socialising. A one on one punch on with my shaver. Please refrain from bullying me in the comments about my stupid looking head. We all know what it feels like and what we want to do to someone when they lowball us. Am I a bit weird? <laughs> um, yep. Jump, 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 jump. Stay in there. Hey, don't you give me that fucking look. Tell us a little bit about yourself, mate. 
G'day, the name's Aaron. For the first game. Thank you, Mr. Flipper. What's going on, Cobb? Yeah, it's Al. Al Gore. Rhythm. This channel turned very heavy, sort of collectible toy focus because it's something that I really do enjoy. The street Shark, Small Soldiers, just to name a few. Oh, what's her name? Oh, she's got a bit of a... Look, she got the tits out. Put those big fucking tits away, yeah. So a bit of morning fresh. We'll just rip this over here. Now, Robbie Hollywood wasn't keen on this. Worth looking at, but sometimes you just find these little buggers sitting in those bins in op shops. So they will bundle up really good. So they've got their own sort of original characters. That one was vibrate and make noises when the kids wrote it. Well, that seems harmless, doesn't it? But no, it actually feels kind of good. I'm getting trolled on TikTok because I say castle. It's supposed to be castle. I've always called it castle. Is it castle or castle? Him that goes. I've seen him go for like a hundred bucks. Uh, I'm not sure. Smells good. I don't know why I sniffed his balls, but anyway, um, they smell good too. His ass is alright. So, an Aussie show, kid show. This is from 1999. Legit ran 10 kilometers to promote another channel while doing a what's sold, and it nearly killed me. I'm starting to feel it now. Oh, fucking killer. Better. <laughs> Fell over again. Fucking fell on my ass. I feel like I've had a lot of firsts. First reseller to get naked on YouTube, maybe? And number two! Nudit! I feel like I'm becoming. I've made songs about random things that I've bought. Diesel should have been high, but it said no. <laughs> All my bags are packed and I'm ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. I don't know why I had to do that. I had a bloody Christmas movie. That was probably the weirdest of all. <laughs> don't fuck shit up. Uh, probably the first person to let a toy eat my hair. That was one whole video. <laughs> Another first, uh, probably the first to do one full video talking about rubber vaginas. Now, what do we got here? We got a rubber bum and fanny. Now, I told you, put the kids away. I've thrown a parcel off of a volcano. Let's put it this way. If this is the first video you're watching of mine, there's a lot of weird stuff on here. But I have fun, so I don't care. <laughs> Love the fact that YouTube made me try wholesale to unbox stuff and share what was in it because I tried multiple different ones and I've done so many now. And it took me a long time to actually find some of the right ones. And now that is my main focus for the business is buying from repeat sellers in bulk. And that's what keeps my business journey. It means I don't have to waste time hunting but we've been through so many, there's been good, there's been some bad ones, but uh, if I hadn't have done YouTube, I don't think I would have dove as hard. Thousand, are not bad. Look at this, corduroy billabong, woohoo! Found some elite shit too, like some of the stuff and the prices and just how cool they were. Um, looking back through these videos, I just, I, I forgot about a lot of them and it's just so cool to look back and reminisce on the, the nice finds, the good stuff you find because people say YouTubers get all the good shit. No, YouTubers just film when they get the good shit. They go through freaking days and days and days of uh, getting nothing. So um, it's nice to be able to share that stuff and uh, kind of poke the chest out and be pretty proud of yourself about it. And my favorites of the day, definitely as a football jumper, uh, an issue jumper collector, just as a cartridge like this has sold for around the $300 mark a couple of times. And look at this find of the day. Seacom long sleeve Carlton. There's a and then look what I've found here. In the Delacombe op shop, Salvos, and this little cutie sitting on the floor for seven dollars. Seven dollars! Holy shit! Found something. It took driving to Adelaide to find a Greater Western Sydney jumper. 
I'm seeing a single stitch. I flang it out and have a look at this. On the Acme, the Metallica Tour shirt. This is the best t-shirt I have found in an op shop. Hands down. Funny, I built this channel with the intent to become part of a community, which I did, and it was great. And then, you know, I've met a lot of people on this journey, like absolutely amazing people. Um, I never anticipated the friendships that I would make by doing this and making this channel. What about YouTube? What's going on with that? <laughs> I'm still editing our video. Mate, hey, how's your niches? Uh, well, we'll find out. We'll scumbag recalls. <laughs> with their hands full, just the ones. And we are going up against the rookies. The rookies have come to the table to play. We've got a fucking raid on your parade. What happened, mate? I walked in and the lady yelled out, where's your mask? I said, I don't have one, can I buy one? She goes, we've got none left. So she said, get out. <laughs> he got kicked out of an op shop. Sometimes guys, just remember that, always pay back to those that help you. It's in your best angles. <laughs> um, Dermot? Yeah, we've got Dermot. Yeah. Dermot? Hey. There you go, you got a set. Hey. Oh, shit. Look at ducks. Look at ducks. This is how the professionals operate. I'm just the, uh, the scum of YouTube. I just ran off a phone. <laughs> Yeah, these guys squeezing the back, <laughs> leaving cars. Uncle Drunko's in the front. <laughs> Come on, kids. So it's a big stint of up shops today. Sorry. Uh, I can really nearly really smashed into her. Oh, she's hey. so 300 bucks in here. That's good. No, mostly a dollar each. I think I paid 35 dollars It's a sign, folks. Be good to the nanas, <laughs> and they'll look after it. Actually, I was going to ask to sniff your fingers, but I'll give it a miss. <laughs> Um, I've had uh, I've had like challenges with people interstate. Um, if you go back to those earlier videos with Robbie Hollywood, we had a blast going back and forth. We never met in the flesh and still talk today, even though he's not making content. <laughs> oh, I fucking found him. He laid Brad laid the bet down. Has to be a clamshell. Any horror doesn't matter what's worth. Maybe if I look up an IMBD, IMBD would tell me if that's fucking actually classified as a horror. Um, yep. are you an op shop or? Uh, it's a salvage place. Yeah. You will see when you get here. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's good. I thinking. can't really explain it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. It's not yeah. actually classed as an op shop, though, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah, no, no it's not. No, it's not an op shop. Um, and all these other guys, you know, I've travelled interstate to meet people up, like meet up with people and hang out with them. They've travelled here, all the way down here from all different places to hang out. Uh, and some of these people seriously are some of my closest friends now. I talk every day and um, it's just amazing what's come of it. So for anyone that's actually contemplating creating content of any kind, it doesn't have to be a reselling thing, um, I know a lot of collectors follow me and I have people that just randomly follow me because they enjoy the thrill of the hunt. Uh, do it. You just never know what sort of relationships you're going to make and some of the ones that I have made are very, very special. So that's the thing that I love most about doing this now. Uh, I got to a point where the, you know I reached that monetization and I thought maybe I should just smash the content as hard as I can and see how much I can make from it. That was in my head for a month and I went pretty hard and it burnt me out because that's not what I want. Family first, you know, little one. Uh, I want to just give him a happy life, simple as that. And it's cool to flick back through these videos. I don't watch my videos. I put a video out and then it's kind of in the backlog for me unless I have to go back for a what's old or something. But um, I don't care to watch uh, myself waffle on. But looking through this past sort of few days, trying to collate some of um, the stuff that's happened. It's cool to see the little bloke when he was young. I forgot how little he was and he was helping me out back then and he's still loving it now. Um, yeah, good boy. So, that is all the toy. Open the box. You want to open the box? What's in there? Ah, I just stepped on a straight jack. <laughs> oh, oh, they hurt. Come on out. Yeah, you didn't do it. That's all right. I dropped it Go ahead and play with your toys. What do you want to do? Play with my toys. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So it's really cool to see that. I'm glad I can get him involved. The year's wrapped up a real positive one. Um, a bunch of people come down last weekend and just went for a thrift and 
We got on the frothies. Oh, we have a single one. I saved that dress. Oh, you do? Yeah, I'm just going to find a bunch. And many dresses. Many dresses. No! Yeah, between 50 and 100, one size for 100. Sweet. What's it say? I'm not saying what it says. <laughs> it's just a vintage jacket, but then someone's painted the back. Bit of customer? It's unique. I like it. You got anything? Oh, a drink. A drink. <laughs> a drink. A duck. Quack. And some dragon wear. Mm. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> some pepper. Not much. You ready? <laughs> we are the last train people. Last stand in. The pistis of the night is definitely Kara. Oh, totally. Uh, that's kind of what the little Christmas special was about. Just advertising them to come out. And I, I planned on doing a video while they were here. And, you know, that was just kind of a little bit of a hype for it. But I didn't film. It was just cool to hang out. So I got to hang out with them sort of the one last time for the year after a couple of trips now and um, then finish the year. Bianca, absolute champion, um, come and lined up with me for a few hours at Bulldogs, Western Bulldogs. My team had a locker room sale and they offloaded match one jumpers, player issue jumpers, stuff that I collect. So I dropped the lazy 2800 on footy jumpers to see the year out, um, which is something I'm super passionate about and look, there's another thing about the friendships i just appreciate her so much for even coming along someone to talk to and wait in line for two hours um and then just be around all the crazy so that's a real positive note to end this year um loading up on that stuff and just getting to see everybody before the year's up so um <laughs> it's been a good one this year i'm pretty happy So basically, I've loved doing this, every part of it. Um, it's been fun and the relationship is the best thing. I enjoy the editing process, but the biggest problem with being on social media and doing this, sometimes I get super focused on creating content um, and getting those videos out each week, which takes away from the business and my goal is to run a successful business rather than YouTube channel. So it had me thinking, what's next? Uh, I think it's time to finish up, eh? That's something that's been going through my mind quite a bit of late. Um, what do I want for next year? So this year, I was fortunate enough to have somebody help me out for an extended period of time. So she started last November and finished up uh, about October this year, which um, I knew was coming. She was on to bigger and better things, but having someone actually help me within the business was such an asset just to get that extra listings up. And um, kind of got me thinking once I went back to myself, I watched the, the, the stuff going up just disintegrate because I mean, I'm still trying to do social media and I, I want to get that stuff out, but then I've still got to try and run the business. So I've still got to try and get that work lifestyle balance. And I, I haven't been super good at that. Um, everything's been all over the shop. So I thought maybe it's just time to hang up the boots, ditch social media and 2023, just tackle uh, the business hard because I get it. There's some people that make content and around reselling and they have their main focus is their YouTube channel and they're just using the reselling as a vessel, which is absolutely fine. That's, um, you know, each to their own. But for me, I'm not, I'm a reseller. I love selling. I love buying stuff. I love the hunt and I love everything about the job. So for me, YouTube's just been a hobby. I love sharing the finds. I'm not here to educate. I don't like education type channels because most people that do YouTube haven't done it for long enough. Basically, you know, under five years and that's just essentially coming out of an apprenticeship if you were a, a sparky or a chippy or anything like that so uh, i don't see it i'll never be a teacher i never will at 15 years time i'm still going to be learning and that's a key of mine that i never get 
the arrogance, even if it's in within my niche, to say that I know everything because I never will. And that's just not gonna be a goal of mine. I want the business to grow. So I felt like YouTubers and Instagram and stuff was just taking a bit away from the business. And I just really, really wanna knuckle down this year and go hard with that. I have somebody else on board now and I'm absolutely wrapped with her. She's absolutely killing it. Um, whether she's here long term or short term, I don't know, but it's something that I'm going to do down the track. Whether I give her more hours or somebody else comes on board, who knows what's gonna happen, but um, that's definitely going to be happening in 2023. Uh, She's been here a bit over a month now, so that's been fan-bloody-tastic. And then, yeah, I'm just knuckling down on that next year. So that's my thought. Do I um, give this away? And it's sort of, I've been back and forth and it's been in my head, you know, I've probably got to hang up the boots, but I'm sort of looking back on this footage and stuff and I'm just thinking about the people that I've met along the way. I actually really, really love editing videos and making videos and just being an absolute donkey. <laughs> Um, I'm not here to be serious, I'm here to be a weirdo, and it's a hobby, it's not part of the business, and I've got to remember if I want that work lifestyle balance, that even though this is kind of work related, well it is, uh, I need to manage my time better, but I'm going to keep making videos because I just love doing it and I love showing people what I get and um, just the interaction and as I said it's the best part the people I've met um, the journey itself it's just makes it that much more special so I'm gonna be back better than ever in 2023 I've just got to learn to manage time and uh, yeah make sure I have more time for the family and friends and everything so what's gonna happen um, <laughs> I still don't know. I'm working on these time management processes. All I know is that I still want to just keep doing what I'm doing, where I, whether I'm thrifting, um, garage selling, showing you bulk lots that I buy, all the sort of fun stuff that I do, that's going to continue. And I'm going to try and learn to produce the best content I possibly can. One thing I strive on is being authentic and being realistic. Uh, I will go back to doing quite a bit of the toy content because I find it fun. I want to do a lot of that stuff. And I'm just going to try and get as many people as I can on this channel now. I want to thrift with different people. I want to see people's collections. I want to go and hang out and just, you know, learn a bit about people within the community. So 2023 is going to be big. I'm excited for it. Um, I'm going to probably have a little bit of a break through January and just, you know, I've got a couple of videos just in the works that need to be edited and I'll get them up. And then the, there might be nothing on this channel for a solid two or three weeks, just so I can just kick back, have a break. I think I've popped out a video every week, just about since 2019. So a um, couple of weeks off, refresh, regenerate, and then come back probably bigger than bigger and better than ever and um, just really get out there. I don't care if I get 100,000 subs or if I get 100 people watching my videos, as long as they enjoy it, uh, that's all I'm here for. This video plus a lot of my videos are copyrighted. They don't have monetization on them purely because I put stuff in there that I thought sounded cool. I'm not in it for them. I don't give a shit about money on YouTube. As I said, this is a hobby. I don't play video games and stuff anymore, except if it's with my son. So uh, instead of that time, I kind of just, you know, few hours a week just making videos and I really do enjoy that it's just pure enjoyment for me so I'm definitely uh I'm excited uh, for a bit of a summary if you want to do make YouTube videos as a reseller or as a collector or whatever the hell you want to make videos about um in my opinion don't focus on trying to build yourself to be huge because you end up burning yourself out. It's a slow grind. I mean, it's taken me, th what, three years to get to where I am, um, half assing it, you know? And I've had a lot of help along the way. There's a lot of very good people that have shouted me out and helped me spread my channel. And it's not just the good friends that I've made here, you know? I'm, I've got Brad and Jazz that have always looked after me and Cara and Robbie and Wayno, Bianca, you know, they've all got good followings, Mitch and Aaron, they've always sort of supported and looked out for me. So I always appreciate that. But even, you know, Dom, Primetime Treasure Hunter, 
Um, he was a huge part of me getting to that thousand subs because he gave me a little shout out. And um, I appreciate all of those. I notice all of those and I remember all that stuff. And it's just genuine people wanting to help each other. And that's what it's all about. And that's why I try and get as many people over here as I can when they're doing stuff because people gave to me and I love giving back. So yeah, this video has been a bloody different one. That's for sure. I've waffled on about some random ass shit. But it's sort of, you know, I get people telling me they want to be a part of the community or they want to do YouTube, but they, they're nervous about it. Hell, I, I made like four videos before I actually dropped one. I didn't even want my wife to see it. I, somebody found it um, somehow and it, that I knew and sort of spread it around a little bit. And I was like real awkward and paranoid about it and stuff. And I don't know why. I mean, I've explained not really on here too much, but, you know, I've had some anxiety issues years ago still to this day it comes back and i was a little bit paranoid about doing this stuff and i've spoken about that stuff this is another thing being on youtube um i've been fortunate enough to jump on a couple of podcasts that are, aren't even reselling related um a big thanks to trav the technician and tess over at the interview two really good podcasts um i opened up about my story of some of my battles early days and um you, you know it was, i'm real fortunate to jump on stuff like that as well there's even been like um, stuff written about me on blogs and stories and stuff. So it's, it's a bit trippy, that shit. But um, it's, uh, you know, I was able to get out and actually talk about stuff like that and hopefully help other people come out of their shell, which is great uh, if they can. Yeah, if you're scared about doing this stuff, just do it. It's a slow grind. Um, your early videos are gonna be garbage. Mine are absolute shit. I just look back on them and uh, they're not very good at all. They're still struggling, in my opinion. But anyway, uh, you just got to get it out there and it doesn't matter what people think. Simple as that. I couldn't care less. I've found a lot of trolls on the journey and to start with, I was like, oh, they're in my head a little bit, but now it's just, I just give it back. Fuck them. But uh, I don't know. That's a sum, That's me summing it up. I uh, finished a bit soppy and shit, but um, I'm just really stoked that I've met a lot of you and I know there's so many more cool people out there that I'm going to meet. 2023 hopefully it uh can be the year that i'll meet you ah very happy 2023 i can't wait i can't wait i'm really excited to make videos and shit again now and um yeah i just needed to sit back and sort of reflect a little bit and realize that i do love this this is fun this is really fun so i thank you all so much for the support along this journey um it's been a crazy ride 2019 through it's now 20 and end of 2022 and um I just, uh, I've just had an absolute blast doing this and, well, I've decided, I, I can't give it away just yet. I can't give the YouTube away just yet. Um, I'd be lost not being able to make a video. So, I'm going to wrap her up right there. Um, once again, a massive thank you to absolutely everyone that has supported me on this journey. Absolutely love you all. Um, whether it just be the kind messages, the gifts, people have sent, you know, to buy me coffee donations and stuff. Um, I genuinely, genuinely really appreciate that because I never expected um, people to actually like the garbage I'm putting on to videos. So uh, I love you all. Please do me one big favor over the holidays and just stay safe. Enjoy your time. No matter how you celebrate, it doesn't matter. No matter who you're with, just look after yourself. Um, and I'm going to see you in 2023. Love you. Cheers, go guy. What the fuck are you breaking, mate? I've already broken a lot of stuff. Got some ducks. Fantastic. It's back. Easy fun. Okay. She's bum. She's way more than I remember. <laughs> Or just a nostalgic hit for anyone who wants to see these. I'll get through it. But uh, I don't think I can maybe find them. But that'd be stuck. Yeah, anyway. You travel, mate. That's all right, everything. It's all right, everything. No, no, no. I'll see you. Too long? It's all right. I've been up for a long time, is not it? When I slept in, I've had to jump in, gate crash a party. It's yeah. a problem, isn't it? And it's getting a bit hard, but anyway. I can't believe that they've just put this out in box. Ooh, I know I've got about 30 bucks for that in the past in the PS2. 
You just finished telling me you. Uh, you just finished telling me that you can't run. Oh, yeah, um, I, can't, I do not run, but I will run. Throw a this. genie bottle out in front of her. Fuck. If you're still here, that's a 30-minute video that I've just slapped out. Um, and I really appreciate it. You've made it 30 minutes in. It's probably my longest video. Um, look, to sum it all up there, this video, I just kind of waffled. <laughs> I really waffled because I didn't know what I was doing prior to this video. I thought I was actually chucking it in. And um, looking back on everything, that turns out that's not what I wanted. So I'm really glad I actually made it. Otherwise, yeah, that could have been the end. So look, I'm going to be off for a while. Um... Have a bit of a break. Turns out burnout is real, whether it's within your business or your lifestyle. And I need to focus a little bit more on everything that's going around me. So um, I'm gonna have a break. You might get a couple more before that happens because they're ready to go. But um, look, there's a little sub button there. If you wanna see the journey, I think coming back fresh, it's gonna be bigger and better and weirder than ever. So I appreciate you. Thank you.